really interesting, weird post courtesy of Gegen Berlin, which if I'm not mistaken is a collective um, based in Berlin, obviously. Um, they do queer kind of BDSM parties. I'm assuming if I'm not mistaken, I read an article that they did one in Kit Kat um, Club and a few other places. So they're fairly well known again in that kind of circuit. And they put out this interesting, strange little caption here on Instagram, which I thought maybe piqued my interest because I saw that obviously the video of Chet Hanks, you know, essentially going on a massive anti-vax, anti-vax, sorry, ra um, volley, volley, rally, volley, diatribe, whatever it may be called, whatever that thing is. And it made me think of this when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is so similar in it. But it also made me LOL because this is a further illustration of the same kind of, you know, problems I had with some of the business techno discourse and the playgrave discourse and all this malarkey was that for the most part, most of these people, DJs included and collectives, whoever they are, you really shouldn't be listening to anything they have to say, right? These people are put together pretty decent events. They program pretty good lineups. <coughs> they maybe put together some cool, you know, artwork for the fly that they're going to promote on Instagram. And that's about it. You attend their parties, you do your cat and you keep it moving. But the idea that you would take any kind of, you know, social responsibility, um, COVID talk, um, mobilization, rhetoric, rah-rah from these people and use it as a manifesto for you to guide your life or to inform the decisions that you make is just, in my opinion, absolutely insane. The fact that you would listen to anybody outside of a club who wears stuff like, because again, it, this is my, myself included, right? If I walk up to a nightclub in techno, a techno nightclub, you know, the worst thing possible is for you to be caught in the toilet somewhere um, wearing this kind of garb with people, you know, sniffing whatever up your nostrils, um, taking whatever in your mouth and then suddenly getting into some deep philosophical conversation about the terrors of flipping, you know, I don't know, about critical race theory, right? Um, about universal basic income, regardless of what it is. There's nothing more cringe, nothing more embarrassing than that. And, you know, groups of, you know, affluent or, you know, socially mobile young people, you know, thinking they can fix the world's problems in the toilet somewhere listening to techno. It's just horrendous. So the fact that these posts even exist makes me always laugh. And again, I think it's just a consequence of COVID because most of these people haven't had the opportunity to do what they actually do best, what they're actually put on this planet for, which is to put on raves and allow people to bum each other in dark rooms, which is fine. But the idea that these manifestos have anything to do with the real world and people really listen to it and or you have strong reactions to it either or just makes me laugh. And this is the post itself. It says here, Gegen Air, right, which I'm guessing is one of their event series that they have coming up or uh, a, a seminar or a way of thinking. Who knows? It's just nonsense. Gegen Air wants to question the concrete need for breath, the lack of air, the fear of it. The pandemic has forced us to hold that breath. The supremacy has prevented us from breathing. What's the supremacy? Why supremacy created COVID? Didn't it come from China? Like, I don't know. The authorities disperse um, us by filling the air with tear gas. How much more do we need to struggle in order to breathe? What air is being breathed today? This sounds like somebody is kind of, you know, one of those like shitty, um, you know, performance art pieces that you would see in an art gallery somewhere in some hipster area right someone kind of reading from their little phone you know you know again phone apple or this malarkey whatever reading some poignant you know poem performance piece uh beat whatever thing about this you know environment or whatnot it's just like ay 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 and everyone you know clicking their fingers it continues Evolution teaches us that life can also exist in an in, in anaerobic conditions, that some organisms proliferate in the absence of oxygen, all these big words for nothing. The mechanisms of power can take over and take advantage of toxic and polluted environments, climate crisis, capitalism, white supremacy. There we go again with that word, patriarchy. What does patriarchy have to do with COVID? All of these things are legitimately some of the things that want me to, you know, you just want to just jump off a cliff somewhere. It's like these people are legitimately some of the most brain deaded people you've ever seen in your life but it makes sense again and you know doing tons of gsb and care and coke and molly and stuff in techno places doesn't necessarily lend to you know nuanced ways of thinking and articulation and whatnot it just doesn't lend to it. it is what it is it fries your brain trust me i've been there um toxic and polluted environments climate crisis capitalism white supremacy patriarchy and other forms of oppression forcing us to live and continue adapt to the external surroundings just as happens in a suffocating relationship 
So now what am I blaming my dad? Am I blaming my girlfriend? Am I blaming the patriarchy? Am I blaming Apple? Like what's going on? Who's the boogeyman here? It continues. Um, Gagan Air wants us to make its way through its environments and bring you an aesthetic um, asphyxiation by using air properties to transmit the vibrations of sound waves. So basically they're throwing a party without a mask it feels like and they're trying to make it into some sort of weird rallying call for people to go out there and breathe it's like oh fuck off the scent of the sweaty bodies and dancing um ecstatically to repetitive and obsessive musical rhythms the sense of freedom the lightness and mindfulness the freshness of being surrounded by urban greenery the oxygen that we all need in order to breathe we invite you to be free like molecules in the air expand yourselves and your horizons like vapor and clouds and be the proliferant sorry and be the was that was that good? The profilin, the profilin. I don't know what that. How do you say that word? The profilin, the profilin of your own well-being, the profilin of your own well-being. Be air, be Geigen air. Take a link in bio. Drag queen. Hashtag drag queen. Hashtag LGBTQ. Oh my god. And obviously everyone in the comments clapping, clapping, liking, liking. It's just like I don't even know what that means. I don't even know why that matters. It just sounds like absolute gobbledygook to me. And another clear indication that techno people, dance music people, DJs, collectives, whatever, should just focus on what they do best. Programming, putting on sick events, um, allowing a whole generation of youth to feel like they're comfortable in their own skin and they don't have to hide who they are. Providing a platform where people from all different walks of life can dance and celebrate and, you know, ingest opious amounts of drugs um free from any kind of the social constraints that they live day to day and that's it all this other rah-rah talk is just so much horseshit it's like i don't know you couldn't i don't know i want back my five minutes because i don't know what that was gag in there like if you just want if you want people to go to your party and not wear a mask just say you know we've got a, we've got a party on we reserve the right to run it however you want to run it take a test before you come but we're not going to be requiring people to wear a mask when you come to our event <coughs> cool do that <coughs> no need to wrap it in all this pseudo science all this pseudo uh, pseudo um philosophical shit you know what i mean this is just like this is just i don't know i really don't know just imagine someone reading this wearing that and then you have sitting there and taking it seriously like huh like, if you're wearing that, I want to hear recommendations on tunes. I want to hear recommendations on places to go and eat, maybe places to go on holiday, funny clubbing stories, you know, whatever, you know, things in situ. I don't want to hear you talk to me about the da the dangers of flipping Bolsonaro the Bolsonaro's presidency in Brazil. You know what I mean? Like, you're not there right now. We're not there right now. We have no idea what's going on there day by day. Nothing we say is going to change everything. It's just a waste of time. But hey maybe i'm in the minority here so big up gegen air i guess gegen berlin berlin the place to be sounds like an absolute nightmare with some of those folks but hey maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong